Hello, my name is Ray Salazar, and this is Morning Real, a three to four to 100 minute or so podcast of films that I review. You can check out this podcast on all your typical podcast, you know, forums such as Google Podcasts, iHeart, um, not Spotify, YouTube, Spreaker, and Apple Podcasts. Thank you. I found out about this film called Past Lives, which is a film that was written and directed by Celine Song. It's actually her debut film, and it's a very strong debut film. I enjoyed it so much. Um, I read a little bit of the synopsis, and it's basically a film about two people meeting up after years of not really seeing each other due to a, a weird breakup of sorts, you know. I mean, any breakup isn't... Who's to say a breakup is good, right? Unless, like... Like if it's, you know, meant to be, I guess. And I think that's part of the, what the film is about. It's like, is there, could there a meant to be? Could there be a what if or a what then, you know? And these folks in this film, they were friends as they were kids. And you can kind of tell that they wanted to kind of be more than friends. And it's very interesting how this film is written out as far as like how two kids can like, honestly fall in love you know and it's and it's innocent love too you know like they like there's a shot in this film which and man i haven't even dug deep to this film all right all right all right and i want to make this quick too because there's so much to talk about it's really a really good film but i'm just going to keep it brief these kids they like each other they get set up like a play date of sorts but it's a date at least how they seem to describe it and the chick she ends up moving up to moving to Canada from Korea and he just she just like not leaves this dude behind but like the dude is aware that she will be you know immigrating and obviously it hurts and that's it we don't know what happens after that several years pass by and I'm not gonna spoil it but they meet up again and um, this time is through through the screen, you know, through Skype. Because, because this film goes back in time, you know. It, it likes to give us a, a big old flashback of as to what happened and what kind of people did these people become, you know, as they grow up. They meet up, you know, virtually. They have, like, some sort of long-distance virtual relationship of sorts. And... Um, it's very sweet how those scenes play out. It's 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 innocent in some weird way, you know? Like and it's obviously there's there's not I mean, they're adults now, right? And they wish that they can actually be together and do things together, you know? And um they obviously can't because they got goals in mind, they got plans and I guess part of like trying to see each other might ruin those plans and that kind of sucks too. So then the chick breaks up, breaks it up with the guy and um, she doesn't try to be a dick about it, but it's more of a thing where like, I got to kind of figure out my life, you know, and it's not that this isn't worth it. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just a lot. And then several years go by and they soon find out more things about each other. And this time they meet up and in real life, and in person, you know, and it's an intense, like, that, that, like, that part of the second act going into a really tense third act, because the dude, like, shows up, and, like, we all know that he shows up for her, and it's sort of like a, like a last hurrah of sorts, and, like, he knows, like, he knows that this girl, you know, has pretty much moved on with her life, and, you know, she actually started her her own, like, family in a sense, or, like, what could become a family, and things are realized, things are said, and Celine Song does a really good job at just basically, like, telling it how it is, and I love the fact that she just doesn't show these characters, like, you know, displaying their feelings out there, but they say it as well. But they say it before they even show it. 
and they say it obviously as they're feeling it and they do they show it right and i think it's very important because in screenwriting or in playwriting you must show how you feel rather than telling us how you feel because you can tell us but if we don't really see it doesn't mean crap you know doesn't mean anything it's it's very um direct it's very a little bit merciless you know like there's there is really not a there's not supposed to be a happy ending you know like there's there's an ending where i thought it was very um really tests you you know it challenges like your own feelings about how you feel about certain people and what it'd be like to be in their situation you know and man i haven't even gone down through this list and i'll go down through the list right now written directed by celine song produced by david he knows josa christeth vakchon pamela coffer starring greta lee tell you and john magaro cinematography by shabir kirchner edited by keith frass music by christopher bear and daniel rawson production companies c j n n e n m wow keller films and 24m overall i think it's a good film to see whether you're single in a relationship in a marriage what have you good film to see good film to um kind of like it's cool how this film kind of just touches the subject of the what if you know the could have been you know but i mean we all make our choices and sometimes those choices last longer than others you know but i think what's most important are the intention for it and obviously if we want to live a good life a good meaningful life obviously our intentions need to be good need to be meaningful need to be positive no matter if it's going to hurt the other person sometimes it just doesn't you know especially if it's a mutual thing right and um the one reason why i was questioning myself about this film whether like like why does this film exist you know like wh- like why did why did song direct this film why it you know it's like any other it's not like any other love story right but you know what could you say that is different from any other film and what i got from this film is that there are some people out there who they just need closure man no matter what like there's some people out there who deserve the closure you know it's sometimes like not having closure for certain things can like really just entomb yourself you know as far as like your life you know what you do after the initial breakup or after somebody like not necessarily disappears on you but you know just kind of makes things brief you know it, it really does make you wonder not only just about that person but like you know why do people do these things well the main character high song really got what he needed and he says it too i like that they say it too i like how they get down the business in the last act and you can tell it's so tense and obviously a little awkward it's awkward man i mean just imagine like you and your wife and next thing you know your wife's childhood sweetheart comes into town and we all know that this person is coming for her not necessarily to take her away from her man right but just to get to the bottom of things with some just some like that minor hope that i guess a lot of us would have about like or sweethearts, or, or like exes, you know, or like, but this is not an ex per se, because I mean, I, it is an ex, man, but it's more of a, a, a childhood sweetheart type of thing, type of ideal, and, um, you know, they all got what they needed, they all needed closure, because without closure, you can't, you can't move properly, you know, like, like the husband in the film, he needed the closure. He really needed to know that, hey man, like is this guy out for blood or are his intentions genuine? And they were genuine and he got that closure. Like we all know for sure that 
that song wasn't gonna like just leave a, a marriage just like that you know even if if she has some questions about it whether they be major or minor and I just like how the film kind of explores that and it's crazy this film's a very simple film like it's a simple plot and you don't need explosions you don't need no big old twists you just need some good old-fashioned storytelling that almost every line practically every shot is great like the cinematographer did a great job shooting this film and knew went to, and the editor knew when to cut to certain shots to like not to only main not to only maintain our engagement but obviously we are we want more we want more and just the whole crew man the whole song crew you guys are great you guys deserve whatever's coming to you obviously positive things and that's my closure to this film um what i have wanted wanted the film to end differently i think it ended the way it should have ended and i love how it ended too it's bittersweet i again man song she wrote something really good and it's it's fair what she wrote and a lot of people kind of go through situations like that you know the main character um nora she got her closure as well because even she had her own questions as to like not necessarily what happened to this guy but like you know like i think it's important that i should meet with this person again and not only tell him like hey man i haven't forgotten about you and all that stuff it's just that you know life is life and we both know we wanted we both knew what we wanted in our life regardless of what we wanted for each other, you know? My name is Ray Salazar. Follow me at Morning Shot Films, IG YouTube. Check out my website, morningshotfilms.co. Thank you.